Hi guys, welcome back. Today we're focusing on the upper body with this bar arms workout. So for this workout, you will need a light set of hand weights. Definitely stick to light weights as we are going to be doing lots and lots of reps here. So if you have those, grab them and let's go. We are completely focusing on upper body today with this bar arms circuit. So going to be a pretty straightforward one, light set of hand weights, high reps. That's, that's the deal here. So if you guys are new around here, welcome. My name is Sarah. I feel mostly bar and Pilates workouts, sometimes with a bit of cardio mixed in. You just never, you never know. So if that's something you would like to see more of, please hit that subscribe button down below to come back twice weekly on Mondays and Thursdays. Also, you can follow me over on Instagram at F2D Fitness for lots more workout content, nutrition content, um, mostly content related to women's hormone health. So if that's something that interests you, and it should, pop over there and yeah, you can, you can learn some things. Um, but we're going to get started here. So really quickly, let's just make sure shoulders are warm. So take some nice big shoulder shrugs back here. We'll just keep a little bit of softness in the knees as we go, just so that we can keep lower back nice and straight and reverse, just circling forward. Just to get a little bit of warmth in there. And then we can just take a little swing here. So just bringing some heat into the shoulders before we get cracking on it. There we go, press arms back, thumbs up, palms forward. And then go ahead, reverse, thumbs down, palms pushing back. We can just sweep one arm overhead here. So one arm drops to the side, nice side stretch, and other side. And then finally here, just bring both hands behind the lower back, press back, chest expansion. And then we're gonna get started. So it's gonna be 30 seconds per exercise. We've got 10 total. So it's gonna be five minutes for a round, but wait, it's a 10 minute workout, you say. We're going to do two rounds total. There will be a little bit of a break though between each round. So grab your weights, 30 seconds of each thing. We're going to start with a running narrow row. So let me show you what's going to happen here. Feet are hip distance apart, point forward, bend the knees, tilt from the hips, palms facing in. We're moving both arms simultaneously. And this is going to be a pattern. So the first thing is going to be some sort of running exercise where both arms are moving opposite but simultaneously. And then it's gonna be followed by a double of the same thing. So you'll pick up the pattern pretty fast, starting with narrow rows here in three, two, one. Abs in tight, keeping a nice flat back and elbow just sliding along the side. Really good opportunity to work the lower abs with this one actually. So you're just squeezing in tight. Next day is long. Last few seconds of these alternating ones. And then we're gonna double it out here. So squeeze and down, squeeze and down. Don't let the line of the back change. Exhaling on that squeeze, so you're squeezing middle and upper back, pulling elbows way back. It's gonna go by pretty fast, I think, with it just 30 seconds per exercise. All right, keep elbows lifted here, alternating tricep, kick back. So just because we're running these doesn't mean they're getting out of control. Don't swing, keep them nice and controlled. Still narrow, you're keeping a squeeze of upper back shoulder blades the entire time. So that elbows stay back. And this is gonna go into a double as well in just a few seconds. Here's three, two, one. Both arms. Exhale on that kick back. If you ever wanna make it milder, just stand up a little bit straighter there. Less gravity working against you. Otherwise, stay tilted down. See if you can pause in that extension, really lifting arms up. 
After this one, we're coming up to stand straight, but keep a little bit of softness again in the knees. Last one there, all the way up, elbows by sides, palms facing up. We're just doing a little serve forward here, pulling elbow back by the side again. So it is a full retraction there. And then just serving forward. It's like a little party trick. Drink in this hand, drink in this hand. You're serving drinks. Any kind of drinks you choose. I feel like it's, it's hot apple cider season for me. Though you can't really get fabulous cider in Spain, if I'm honest. And then doubles here. That's a thing that I do miss about the States. The apples, the selection of apples, a good honey crisp apple, good honey crisp apple cider. What? Big fan of apples at this time of year. A little bit more here. All right, next one, keep arms out and we're curling it here. A little alternating bicep curl. If you wanna make it milder, you can bring the elbows in a little bit closer toward you. Otherwise, just try to keep it steady here. Let me know, are you guys, if you're, well, if you enjoy autumn beverages, what is your autumn beverage of choice? I know everybody's like hot to trot for pumpkin spice, and generally I do enjoy pumpkin spice things, um, but in a beverage, I don't know, not really. Doubles here. I mean, if I were going to pumpkin spice, I'd be making it at home and not getting the chemical laden pumpkin spice beverages from uh, assorted chain coffee vendors. Um, but yeah, I'm not, I'm not really massively into drinking pumpkin spice. Very much prefer an apple cider. Or hot tea, things like that. Last one here, and then arms up by the sides, shoulder press, alternating. Shoulders maybe feel a little juicy at this point. Keep back nice and straight, so make sure you're not hollowing out the back to lift here. These are the last couple of things in the series, and then we'll just repeat everything one time for a 10 minute burn. All right, last one there, and double exhale push, inhale bend. So again, I'm just gonna show you from the side here, watch that you're not like hollowing out the back. So keep abs nice and tight. Think of pushing weights slightly forward. If the weights start to go back, where you're kind of like collapsing the shoulders, it's also gonna collapse the back along with it. So everything stays nice and engaged. Last few seconds here. One more. Boom, there we go. All right, five minutes just like that. See, I feel like that flew by. You can drop your weights for a second here. Give the arms, wrists, everything a little shake out. As we do the second round. Second round, exactly the same as the first. So you know what is coming. 30 seconds of each thing. First we do the alternating, then we do the double. So go ahead, set up for your narrow row here. That's where it all began. And we start in three, two, one. Feels a little different the second time around. But bar arms is really about the endurance work. That's why we're using these light weights. Light weights, high reps, we got it. Really nice for just toning and tightening. All right, double it up. Really enjoy these postural ones. These are the ones that just give you a nice, a nice long line because they help you stand taller. You look more confident. Pulling shoulders back. Also, you won't have all that upper back pain if you've been sitting at a desk. Got to open it all up. All right, last one here. Tricep kickback. So alternating. Whew. Nice and controlled. I feel like I'm skiing. I don't know. I've only been skiing once. It was not a fun experience. 
I would actually like, it was downhill skiing. I would like to do cross country. This seems more cross country to me. All right, and then doubles. Anybody here been cross country skiing can give some feedback. I think I might enjoy the cross country skiing. I know it is quite an intense workout, um, but it just seems nice. Cause you'd be in like nice, nice crisp snow. I don't know, it seems peaceful. Last one here, we come all the way up. Palms up, elbows by the side. Alternating, little serve to the front here. You can tell I'm like deep into like autumn winter mode already, talking about cross country skiing. <laughs> Which is hilarious because the weather in Madrid is still saying summer. <laughs> what? No, it's awesome if you love a bit of summer, if you want like a nice long extended summer, still wearing shorts, all that jazz, doubles here, then it's great. Great climate for you. But you know, like it's mid-October. I'm ready for some autumn. And that's the thing with, uh, with the weather in Madrid, we just kind of pass the buffer seasons. So it's really just like summer and winter it's not like it's just gonna stay summer all the time. It's gonna transition to winter and we'll have maybe like a week of autumn. So if you're a fan of buffer seasons, good luck. All right, keep it up, alternating curl here, which is such a shame because autumn, I mean, I'm gonna, be, I'm gonna be basic, but you know, autumn is my favorite season and it's like, you just don't really get the experience here. It's summer and then you get winter. So I'm jealous of you guys who live in nice four season climates. Last one there, and then double. I'm sure some of you are like, what? But you get summer for that long? That's amazing. It, believe it or not, it does get old. <laughs> it does get old. But it's kind of nice wearing shorts still. I have to admit. Last few seconds here. I actually feel as if the second round is a little bit easier. Let me know what you think. All right, and then finally, shoulder presses. So I think the shoulder press is where it really gets juicy. I have to admit. But it's the final thing. No more rounds after this, unless you're feeling real crazy and you wanna go back and do a third round, maybe a fourth round, hey, go for it, you do you. But I'm stopping here at two. All right, final press, double arms. Slow release down. Try not to release all the way to the sides, so keep those elbows high. Stay in that active zone. Chin lifted, I'm just looking down at the timer so that we don't do any more of this than we need to. Again, unless you wanna do another round or two. One last one here, boom, and release. Whew, drop those weights, there we go. Circle out the shoulders here. Arms should be feeling good from only 10 minutes. This is what I love about bar arms. It's just quick and dirty. That's what we need. Cross one arm in front of the chest. Give it a nice stretch. I like I like efficiency. That's what I like. Get it done. Woo! And then bring that hand between the shoulder blades. Feeling shoulder and tricep. Take a little rock here side to side if you want. I always just feel the need to like keep a little bit of motion in the hips. I don't know why. And then release other side here. I can't imagine just like sitting at a desk all day. Oh, if you guys do sit at a desk all day and the hips get like tight, as they probably would do, um, I cannot recommend enough sitting on a big yoga ball. It's great, I can tell you, because I briefly had to sit for working like while we were in lockdown a few years ago. And after like two days, I was like, I cannot handle this. This life is not for me. My hips hurt. 
my lower back hurts, this is not the one. So I got a big yoga ball to sit on and it made all of the difference. It's good stuff. Works your core a little bit. You can kind of like roll around on it, massage out the hips. It made a world of difference. So it was like night and day. So highly recommend. Press arms back again. There we go. So hopefully arms feeling nice and spicy now. All good to go though after just 10 minutes. So if you guys enjoyed this nice short arm workout, then give this video a like to let me know that you want to see more of this type of workout while you're down there. Of course, if you haven't already, please do hit that subscribe button to come back twice per week for more workouts. And let me know down below in the comment section your favorite autumn beverage. I will see you guys back here soon. Bye.